we're doing today is we are going to the African shop. We're going to the African shop because we want to buy some beans. Christmas day, we would wake up early and we would all, you know, <laughs> Christmas, we would, um, we would have, everyone would have new clothes, new shoes, and then we would, I remember mom would buy us those ngomas. With our parents, we would we would sing back all the way from Chamakanga to Gaimedi with our bench on the head, singing, singing, celebrating that we've won. That fish box is now eight. They've increased. Mm. Oh, this is what we want. This is what we want. We want this. We got our, it's, it's this one, right? That's the final product. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Anna and my granddaughter mom and uh, thank you for joining me today. So today I'm hanging out with my troop and the air is Christmas, 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 Christmas. This is me. Yeah, I actually love Christmas. Have you guys noticed the air around Christmas is different? Okay. It what? is very, very different, the air around Christmas. Okay. It's crisp and it reminds me so much of when we were growing up. So. What we are doing today is we are going to the African shop. We're going to the African shop because we want to buy some beans and we want to make githeri. Githeri. Um, if you don't know what githeri is, githeri is a delicacy from Kenya. So it's made of um, beans and maize. I got some maize, uh, fresh maize. I bought some fresh maize. And I've been looking forward to coming and making it daily. So it's made of um, beans and maize. And then you can add carrots. If you want, you can add potatoes. But I don't like adding potatoes. You can add chickpeas, I think. You can add anything you want. But mine's going to be very simple. It's going to just be beans, maize, carrots, uh, green peppers, a bit of chili and then uh, lots of onions and tomatoes. So I really been uh, yearning to make it dairy. So I will make a lot of it today and then I can freeze some and then we'll be eating kidogo kidogo, small bits and bits. So yeah, come with me, um, let's do this. And then I think while I'm out there, we may just be able to buy a few other things. So it's an opportunity um, for me to show you our African shop so that you know where we normally get our supplies. And if you're in Perth and you don't know where the African shop, this is your day for you to know where it is. And so you can see what we have in the African shop. African. The reason why I like going to the African shop is it has almost everything that you need, I believe. Um, can get um, fish, you can get uh, beans, you can get um, what else can you get? You can get cassavas, you can get cassavas, you can get um, what do you call uh, duma in English? Uh, arrow roots or yams, you can get uh, potatoes, you can literally get almost everything that normally we have at home. You can even get veggies, I think you can even get render you can get uh, um, what is this called Cheveve. you can get so I'll show you it's an opportunity for us to see the African shop and so you can know where to buy your supplies I know I've met a lot of people who tell me oh how I wish I could have Saza or Ugali a good friend of mine um, is newly in WPA and was telling me he's not had real food you know to a Kenyan or an African, especially a Kenyan, my friend is Rwandese. So for him, Ugali is everything. So he's not had Ugali since he came, which is about three, four weeks ago. So I told him, why did you not tell me you haven't had any Ugali? I could have cooked for you some Ugali. I could have even shown you where, uh, you know, I buy my Unga. So today, my friend, I'm not gonna mention you. I'm going to the African shop. Hopefully I can get you some Ugali. No, not Ugali. 
some amazement, some saza of men. I think at no cost I will introduce you to Ugali. Okay? Watch this space, my friend. I'm going to bring you some when I come back to work. Um, yeah, so that's it. Sit put. Come with me. Let's drive. And go to the African shop. Yes. I don't know what you guys are doing over this Christmas. Um, I know Christmas seems to be a good time for all of us. Um, people celebrate Christmas for various reasons. I think for us believers, Christians, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the joy that comes with it. But I know everybody celebrates Christmas for various things. I've seen here in Australia, Christmas can be very interesting. It's a time when people who haven't seen each other for a long time meet. And I find at Christmas time, if you want to go out for lunch or something, you have to pre-book. Because most places are usually really packed up. Everybody is so fast about Christmas lunch. A lot of people are fast about, you know, going out to their families to have something to eat. So it's probably if you want to eat out around Christmas, please, please book out where you want to go. Because it can really be booked out, you know. I find this a little bit different to be honest because you know in Africa we see our parents all the time you know we meet up with friends all the time but I've literally found and I've seen even in hospital we try a lot of people will go like I want to be discharged before Christmas because I want to go spend time with my friends and family and interestingly sometimes we get a little bit more admissions as well because that's the time you know where we call it Christmas dumping sort of you know you know syndrome quote unquote where people are brought to hospital because they're like, anyway it's a bit sad but it happens it does happen so Christmas for me though it's a bit different I think Christmas is just a time to hang out and take count of what the year has been be grateful be grateful for the things that you've been able to do be grateful for family be grateful for the far you've come really um and this christmas i think i'm grateful i'm really grateful because of the many blessings the many achievements the joy the tears everything all combined that we have experienced this year but look we are still standing i guess that's what matters right we've had lots of illnesses in the family we've had loved ones join us in australia which is good it's been so much fun um to have at least people that we call our own family own family join us so it's very exciting to know that um, it's very exciting to know that this christmas we are going to be hanging out with family and friends as well so yeah yeah christmas is all about you know meeting up having you know we're gonna have something to eat together sit around laugh talk you know essentially just that you know um this is a bit different obviously from how we grew up christmas for us used to be very interesting and i think it still is especially at home um i remember as soon as we closed school we would um you know have what we call marago i don't know for those who are louis or maragolis you know what marago is so marago was where we would uh, as soon as we close school we start practicing every afternoon where we would be given like a recital to do and then we would sing and then you would have a conductor saying it used to be so much fun and then on christmas day we would wake up early and we would all you know <laughs> christmas we would um we would have everyone would have new clothes new shoes and then we would i remember mom would buy us those ngomas <laughs> my sisters can attest mom would buy us ngomas and you know when ngomas ngomas used to be like these rubber shoes you know when ngomas are new for me especially whenever i have like a new shoe somehow even if it's my shoe size it never fits really well so you have a bit of blisters at the back of your feet anyway we would have your new gomas 
and then you'd have your new dresses either bought or my mom sometimes would make for us like she would tailor uh, and sew some clothes for us so Christmas would we were assured you would have new shoes you would have new dresses and then you'd wake up very very early because it's Christmas come on it's Christmas and then we would go and then sing our marago so marago was like where we would all compete at church we would sing sing um, and then we would compete and if you won and you know I remember it used to be like this you know so you would go like a conductor you would go nee, 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 nee. you would dance 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 go to the front and then ask for permission and then you know salvation army you hold your finger in the air like that so you go you go you dance you dance and then you go you say you're asking for permission and then you come back dancing dancing you come back and then you take your troop and then you go in something like that and then we would come and then we would line up and then and then as a conductor you would line up your people and then after you line up your people like that you would nee, 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 nee. and then the last chorus of the song you know you needed to have stopped with a bang like so you would like to you would do this as the conductor to try and imitate for the people that we are about to stop we're about to stop and then we would finish together with the drums we would finish with the bang hey and then we would go quiet and then we would sing this is Gaimedi it used to be called what Gaimedi used to say what? This is Gaimedi uh, sublocation, ready to present to you, uh, blah blah blah. And then we would say, uh, from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8, I think, to 23, or something like that. And then we'll say, Siku zile zile, wakati wa Yesu Christo, Maria Mtakatifu, Akazaliwa. No, I was a new I lie. Uh, I lie. Uh, how did you used to do it? You know? <laughs> anyway, anyway, we would recite, recite, recite. I don't know, I should have recited it anyway. And then we would finish. Utukufu wa bwana ukatokea pande zote. Malaika wa bwana ukatokea. Utukufu wa bwana uka something, something. Ukawashukia. Amezaliwa kwenu. Mwokozi. Ndiyo Kristo Bwana na hii ndio itakuwa ishara kwenu. Tutapata mtoto you know we were... <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Um yeah, so it used to be so much fun and then after we recite if you recite well and then you would have your living song. And then you would sing, you would sing and come out. Okay, and then depending on how you dance so well, people would stand up, you know, your mom would stand up and clap, 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 clap. And then you would, everybody now would do the same thing. And then, and then at the end, then we would, you know, come back in and would be told who was the winner and stuff like that. And the, the interesting thing is we, we used to be gifted as a team you know so we would be given like let's say number one would get a bench to take back to the church number two maybe would get uh what what was the other one we used to get mostly it used to be benches you know that we would take back to church and um that would you know increase the number of seats in our churches so and i remember when we are taking back because we used to go to the cops you know you guys who are in salvation army you know there is uh, your cops and then there is your sublocation and then there's something i think it used to be called like that kituo kituo in english i don't know so then we would we would now at the end you know with our parents we would we would sing back all the way from chamakanga to gaimedi with our bench on the head singing singing celebrating that we've won and we did the same thing i think I think Kinanina did the same thing from Bokoli Abu to Lusamba singing on the head, you know, carrying their gifts. So, um, yeah, Christmas was really a big one. And then I think uh, what our parents used to motivate us with, with was like soda and bread. So we, we would look forward to Christmas because we would have soda, soda, you know, you know, normal soda that now you can buy so easily. Then it was soda and then we would have bread and then we would dance with a thing on the head then go back to the cops when we finish now we start the troop 
trooping around so how it used to work like you know trooping around anyway did i say we were going to the african shop so we're still going to the african shop we're not yet there uh but we're not too far off now so it's fine anyway i'll keep telling you stories so we we would um like after we leave the church we would go to people's homes we would start with i remember we start we would start with kinamagi's place and then we go to our place and then we would go to kinangwe's place and then we would we would just go round 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 you know this is very different i i think now you know life has changed so much because um you know we are more in our like little spaces but then life was just you know you know you would be this you could be disciplined by your you know your neighbor you know it wasn't a big deal and so we would uh, go to their place eat we would go to another place eat we would go to another place eat i don't even know how we never used to get food but anyway we would have soft chapati hard chapati burnt chapati brown chapati yeah i tell you i tell you and then there would everyone's home that time over christmas everybody would have at least chapati and meat or um, kuku which is chicken so at least every home there was a delicacy and then i think my mom used to really try i think a kudos to my mom <laughs> she would buy you know the soda crate so our home people who would come to our home my mom used to try hey mom she would buy us um great soda so everybody would have at least soda so that was that used to be christmas for us it used to be so much fun um i i, I still feel like christmas air back at home even smells different the air outside you just know it's christmas so that's why christmas for me is still you know a very exciting time of the year and uh, obviously of how we were brought up it was time to share it was time to um to to uh, dine together it was time to you know just be happy you know um yeah and i'm hoping that uh, um even as you watch me today that this christmas you have a troop around you i hope you're not lonely um i hope you you have someone to to sit with and to share a meal with and um, just to celebrate christmas and really i think let's not forget the reason for christmas it's that um we've been given an opportunity to to be believers and to you know yeah to be believers and to believe in jesus so yeah hopefully you're enjoying your pre-christmas days and you're looking forward to christmas yeah so i'm gonna tell you the difference here over christmas i think people meet up yes um they meet you know their loved ones as well and then there's a big focus on christmas gifts and uh, being a last minute person i still think i need to do a bit of christmas gifts and um yeah so we'll see how today goes but let's not forget today the main main thing we're going out is to get beans we want to make gideri for christmas gideri for christmas because <laughs> my neighbors at home we are having gideri for christmas christmas gideri yeah so imagine it's a delicacy the things you take for granted when you're in Africa are things like sheveve, managu, chimboka. You know chimboka? Chimboka is what in, in, in English? I don't even know. But it's like mchicha, you know? Chimboka, kunde. Hi, those things. Ah, they are a delicacy for sure. So, um, yeah. So... What else are we doing? I think that's the main thing we are doing, huh? Um, yeah, we'll soon be at the African shop, and so please sit back and wait because I'm going to show you how our African shop looks like. 
and the owner of the African shop is very nice. He actually speaks Swahili. So if you ask somebody who's a bit, you want somebody to talk to you in Swahili, feel free. Our that guy speaks Swahili and he's very nice as well. So the guy, it's a guy. He speaks Swahili. We are going to go to the lady. No, it's, it's a guy. Oh well, wait, we'll see who's there anyway. It doesn't care. Yeah. We'll see who's there. All right. Yes. So this is Cannington. Oh, let me show you. So, so now we are in Cannington. We are about to get to the shop, which is in Cannington. Uh, yeah, lots of cells. There's a rug sale actually there. Guys, there's a rug sale. And then that's that's carousel. And the roads are not too bad today. Uh, it's not the there's no traffic. So it's flowing nice and easy. We should be there in the next like three minutes or so. And then I will I think I have to get something from Chemist Warehouse as well. So, there we go. We're almost there. That's Abby Norman. That's Abby Norman. That's Abby Norman. Okay, you guys know Abby Norman? Yeah, dead. Yeah, Abby Norman has good things, but prepare your pocket. Tengeneza Mufu. We're full, full. Almost there. I think after these lights, we'll be there. There are a few other African shops, but this is the one that we come to most times. There's another one in Maddington, and I think there's another one in Nolamara, if I'm not wrong. I like this one, and then the Maddington one is my second one, my second preference. But this is my best. So we are here. We are here. We are here. We are here. Okay. So we are here. Day. This is the African shop. Yeah, nice man. Look at Ugali. This is Ugali flour. Various designs, braids. Oh my God! Is that Will Broder, guys? Is that Will Broder? Guy, oh no, Will Broder. Gosh, I met Will Broder. Hi, Will Broder. Okay. What's that? Peanut butter flavored maize porridge. Okay. Ugali. 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 So let's try to find the beans. Remember, we are here for the beans. Oh my god, <laughs> sorghum flour. Which one's this one? Beans. Oh. 
this is Murenda and this is uh, I think this is Sebebe or what? Oh, potato leaves. What are those? Oh, cassava leaves. I don't know how to make cassava leaves. That's maize. Pre-cooked maize. This, I think, is Murenda. This is Murenda. It is dried, dried catfish fillet. <laughs> In your bambla. This is a bambla for sure. No, it's a bambla. Huh? Which one? A bambla. Look. A I think. Huh? Yeah, that's kidding. Come on, huh? This catfish. Twenty dollars. Papa, don't talk about it. There was. There was. What is this? I is this some okay? Ones, oh, no. this is beef. No, I can see from you already. Anyone that says honey. Oh, and then that's fish. That's from my mother. Yeah? <laughs> see. Oh, the baby masala. I think we have some, right? We're going to make the baby. And if you want a box, ah, oh, look, fish box is now 80. They've increased. Mm. Oh, this is what we want. This is what we want. We want this. We got our, it's, it's this one, right? This one. Canadian pinto beans. These are the ones I like buying. And then, if you want red kidneys, sometimes I buy. Oh, this is not red kidney. This one is azuki. Beans. This is the red red beans, this one. I think in, at home we call them Wairima. I think it's Wairima. Uh, come, 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 I show you. This is Bengu. Uh, and various types of beans are all there. So you can see, guys, there's quite so much here. I said a bit. And then the hair, the hair, food. This is what we have at home. This is, I used to use it for my kids. And then this dark and lovely. You want to carry for me, Jaden? And we used to do this, this one is for kids. Can you see? Kids original, natural conditioner. Let me hide, Jaden. Roiko, Roiko. I think we have some, right? We have some. Should we have some? I think we'll buy this one. This one's good for the dairy as well. Yes. That I have. I have. Do you need help? Yes. Thank you, David. Okay. And then these guys, there's kericho. Kericho. Kericho bones. Kericho bones. Um, and then. are just seasoning various seasoning these ones are usually also nice but uh, we're not gonna get some so that's all right and then there is a remis let's show you a remis <laughs> all this is hair stuff nice and lovely Gold. This is gold. Arimis. Can you see Arimis? Arimis. Gold. If you don't know what Arimis is, please comment. I'll tell you what Arimis is. And this line. This line is good. We call it at home Vaseline. Here it's this line. We're almost done, but we're almost done. I think we are done. I'm and going turning here. I'll let him show us around. Bigger, bigger. Go, oh, pity, pity.
You know them? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. strawberry. Uh -huh. So there's, this is the various um, types of flour we have. We have the instant ones. This is porridge though. That has strawberry. But for maize meal, you know we need to buy some as well. There's this one. Top score. I like this one because it's very small. Come on, like equivalent to grade one at home. And then um, we're gonna mix it with the one that we have because the other one is very oh. hard. This one is also good. This is the one that I buy in Jersey. That's a very nice. Should we try this one? Yes. Let me see how much it is. Top score. It's 15. And then what here is. I think we'll get this one, top score. I don't know the price for this one. This one is also amazing. Yeah? The price is there. No, that's for this one. Is for this one. The pot here. This one. But it's a bit round. The pot here is a bit round. This one is top score. It's a bit cheaper by like a dollar. But it is. I like this one. And then this semolina. I don't see the price. They come in five kilos. Five kilos goes for about sixteen dollars there. This one. And it's ten kilos. This is ten kilos. Umenda kisiagi goro goro tano. This one. Come home with it. So good. You can get a small amount. This one. One kilo protein. Maybe I should take for my friend this one, no, but I'll take it. Take for my friend this small one. Uh -huh. I'll take this one for my friend. Which one is this one? I haven't seen this one. Oh, which one is this one? I've never quite seen this one. Kisiagi. White maize meal. I've never seen this one. It's always a first time. Do you want to show it? Nineteen dollars. Why is it more expensive? And it's four kilos. For baking as well. And then this. For those that love brown or garlic, this this one. Sorghum. Sorghum. Yeah. Lots of options. Ooh. Lots of options, guys. And then, I think this is the one. Michelis. Michelis. Gawat. Gawat here, Kenya. There you go. And then, this fufu flour. That's fufu. Pounded yam. This is yam. Pounded yam. Are you, are you taking it? No, I don't want that one. Um, that's fufu flour. What's fufu made of? Banana. Looks like it's bananas. Nigerian brothers for food. Mm. Yeah. This is yam fufu. So this is and then this cassava flour. This one I don't know what this is. Cassava flour as well. So the choice is yours. That's the final product.